and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. Got some lovely, wonderful, spicy meatballs today that we've made in a lovely masala gravy. Really delicious, this one. Doesn't take that long at all. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get straight in on this one. We'll start to make our meatballs first. So here I've got some minced beef but you could be using lamb or anything, in fact, chicken if you wanted, uh, or a mixture. I've got here some onion, I'm using red. Just make sure that you cut it nice and small. If it's big pieces, it doesn't work so well in the meatballs. Some cilantro or coriander. Now, simply, we're gonna get some salt onto that one. Here, I've just got a few powders, four in fact. Now what I've got is I mean, that much of a spoon. Garam masala powder, turmeric, cumin powder, and chili powder. You could, of course, be playing around with that if you wanted, adding some other stuff. Here, I've got garlic, ginger paste, nice hefty amount. That's a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. And then an egg. Just gonna pop that egg in there. Super easy, we're gonna give that a nice mix. Be back in a minute. Okay, so there we go, we've got a nice mixture there. Simply, you just need to make these into balls of the size that you want. I mean, I'm gonna go for fairly small ones, but you could make them bigger, but I'm just gonna do small ones. I'm gonna get them done, you should just put them in your hand, roll them, get them to how you want, and then put them on a plate. See you then. Okay, there you go, they're ready. Now, if you're concerned about them maybe breaking while you're frying them because they're too soft, little trick, pop those in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes and they'll just toughen up the outsides and then they're beautiful for frying. I mean, this works again if you're making homemade burgers or something. Right, we're gonna get these fried off first. Okay, so I've got a pan or a skillet here with some oil in. I mean, you could deep fry these if you wanted. We're gonna shallow fry them. We're just heating that up. Simply, we're gonna drop in our meatballs. Now we're not on a ridicu ridiculously high heat. We wanna fry these around for maybe five minutes. Just sort of turning them over every now and then. And don't worry if you think that they're not particularly cooked on the inside, because of course we are going to be cooking them again in our masala. This is going to be absolutely wonderful. Yeah, about five minutes. Just let them do their thing just for a minute. Then you can start to turn them. Don't, you know, don't unnecessarily turn them because they could obviously break. Back then. Okay, off goes the heat. These are beautifully cooked. And like I say, if they're not cooked on the inside, do not panic. I mean, unless you're making a really massive sized meatball, because they will cook really easily in the gravy of the masala we're gonna make. If you wanted, you could flour these and fry them. Some people do that. I've just chosen not to do that today. But we're gonna set these aside, then we're gonna move on to our really nice, simple gravy sauce. Okay, so there you go. Set aside our meatballs. We're gonna make a really quick, easy masala for this now. I've got some oil in here. I'm actually using coconut oil. Just gonna drop in some cumin seeds. Yeah, coconut oil, but you can use anything you want. A few little cumin seeds in there. Just want them to do their thing just for a few seconds. Then we're gonna be adding onions, garlic, ginger, and some chili. Let them do their stuff, like 30 seconds. Keep stirring, back then. That's perfect. If we sort of infuse that oil. Now we're gonna go in, here we go, quite quick this one. Onion, cut quite small, and I'm putting my fresh chili in now. 
To that I'm gonna be adding garlic ginger paste, 50-50 mix. Quite a lot, I like quite a lot in this one. So like two heaps of those. Get some salt in there. And on this high heat, let's fry these around for about three to four minutes. Okay, it's coming on really nicely, wonderful smell. Coconut oil really comes out as well. Okay, now I've got some tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. Try and use a nice ripe tomato. To that I'm going to add some powders. I've got equal parts here, like a little teaspoon each of chilli powder, coriander powder and turmeric. If you wanted you could be adding cumin powder as well. So high heat, let's throw this around in the pan just for like two to three minutes. What should happen is we'll get some moisture from the tomatoes as they break down. We may add some water though. We'll take a look then. So as you can see, we've got this amount of moisture or water from our tomatoes, but we're gonna need more. So I'm gonna go in with a cup or a glass of water there. Cold water that was. Now, high heat, we need to cover this now. And then once it reaches boiling point, put it on a simmer for about five to six minutes. So lid on, give it a stir every now and then, back in five or six. Here's my lid today. Okay, heat off, we let some steam out of there. There's gonna be a lot of steam in there. Okay, here we go, that's lovely. Those tomatoes have broken down really beautifully. We've got a really nice masala there now. Simply, we're gonna get our meatballs in the mix. And then we're gonna just get the heat back on for about sort of three to four minutes only. Cook them in the lovely curry that we've made. And then it's gonna be ready. If you wanted, you could be adding some fresh cilantro on top or some fresh mint. Maybe a little bit more garam masala. So heat back on. No need for my frying pan lid anymore. I'm just gonna get these covered in that sauce. Three to four minutes should be okay for these. I mean, they're just really quite small. And then that's done. I hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?